And um, how many shows do you all have here? Uh, now we're doing... How frequently shows. do you have shows? We do Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So we do a Friday and Saturday evening show and we do a Sunday matinee. This weekend's kind of special because we have uh, live plays in here. Uh, last year we set it up to do live performances and we've done a number of those. We, uh, our first uh, production was The Diary of Anne Frank. We took that to the community theater competition in Lexington last year. We didn't win, but we took all the acting awards. Uh, yeah. We got Best Actor, Best Supporting Actor, uh, a, a number of acting awards. So. Who are the those who won the Best Actors? Are they still uh, in your all's They're in the troop. troop. It's the Millsboro Little Theater. So it's a community theater. What, who, are, who are they? What's their names? I'm sure they'd like to get some more recognition. No, I'm having trouble. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Is it true what they say that actors or actresses can be prima donnas? What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm above the answering that question. No, no, that's fine. You don't have to answer anything. But the, no, actually, they're particularly community theaters, a humbling experience. And most of the people that I know who are involved in the arts are they're fairly normal people except for their they have this thing that they have to channel through them and it comes out right and I guess that could make you feel different and special right I'm, I'm open to that if they feel different and special because of that yeah I was halfway kidding about Everybody's it everybody's got their thing no it's just there's a guy up in uh, uh, Maysville I used to live up there and he was saying that he was surprised by how prima donna he was trying to run the business but it, it's probably different because since he was trying to make money too whatever yeah um making money in show business is tough yeah so we're in the heart of bell county here which is right at the cumberland gap and, right. uh, we're at the northern end of the passage the, the the geologic feature that shortened the trip from the valleys of virginia to the blue gas of kentucky so the people pass right through here where we're standing we're on the side of the road the wilderness road Right, it was quick to get off here too, right off the interstate. Yeah, it's not far. 28 miles from Corbin, where the interstate is. And uh, if you're coming from the south, you can come up to the Powell Valley. Uh, Tennessee 63 is beautiful. Right. Or you can get off in. I'm filming you. <laughs> I'm Sherwin Ryder, Mayor of the City of Pineville, Kentucky. Sherwin Ryder. Uh -huh. Home of the oldest running festival in Kentucky, the Kentucky Mountain Moral Festival. Okay, cool. You say that's something you didn't know. I didn't know that. When did uh, the, that's that festival? held uh, the last full weekend in May. It's on Memorial Day weekend every year. Okay. And it's the longest running festival. We have um, I think the second oldest golf course in Kentucky located here in Bell County as well. Right. Of course, we've got our wonderful new golf course that we just built a couple of years ago, Osceola Winds. Yeah. We have 
trunk or treats on Halloween around the courthouse square. You said trunk or treat? Mm -hmm. What's At the ch different churches bring uh, <coughs> candy from their churches. And everybody sits there and backs into the courthouse, and all the different churches <laughs> open their trunks. And the kids that aren't allowed to go trick or treating on Halloween get to come out on the Sunday before Halloween and get candy. So. Trunk or treat, that's mm -hmm. a cool idea. So, um, that's worked good. This is like its third year, and we have like a uh, pumpkin carving thing that all the kids at school do the pumpkin carvings, and then we did cover the courthouse square in them year before last, but last year we decided we would start spreading them out. We had like horse-drawn buggies that were pulling, taking people through. Right. Christmas decorations, and we have competitions on who who does the best job, you know. Right. It's a totally small town atmosphere, and everybody knows everybody, and right. it's, it's just a good place to live. But you said you're the you're the first female mayor. I'm the first mayor. female mayor in, in Pineville. In Pineville, mm -hmm. and you also said that I you just took office in November. You recently took mm -hmm. office. Mm -hmm. You were uh, elected by the council because the previous mayor had resigned. Correct. And will you be running for re-election? I plan on running for re-election. Yes. When is that? That uh, election will be. We, you will file at the end of this year. So the election will be next November. So next year, yeah. Um, how have you liked it? I've enjoyed it a lot. You know, I've learned a lot. And every day's a, a new experience and something. You know, you learn a lot of life lessons with this job. But uh, you've only been in there a short while. But what would you say is the best or, or the coolest thing that you've done? The best idea. Or I don't most productive. I, you don't I was have to say, I'm not sure I've had my best idea yet. That uh, <coughs> we've had uh, a lot of issues that we've had to, to work out and things, which I don't know how much history you know about our little town. But as, as you came in on the bypass that comes around, that's actually a flood wall that comes around and protects us from the river. Uh, in 1977, this town was totally flooded, <clears throat> and the flood wall at that time it came over. And actually, we were like a swimming pool. We were right. in water over our heads and for several days. And of course, you couldn't just open the floodgates and let the water out. You had to wait for it to recede or else it would have sucked right. the whole town out with it. So we've had, you know, a new bypass that's come through, a new flood wall. And there's a lot of things that go with maintaining that and keeping it up to par and the pumps. And have you had any problem with flooding since 1977? Not anything major since we've had the new flood wall. Were, were you around when that flooding happened? Actually I was. I had just, I hadn't been in Pineville too long and I was having a baby shower. I was pregnant <laughs> with my first daughter and they were having a shower for me downtown here. And the mayor came by and knocked on the door and said we're evacuating. Everybody has to leave. And all these women coming by with gifts and we're like, we're having a party. And he's like, you're leaving town. And so <laughs> anyway, my cake got washed away and everything else. So I had a memorable baby right, shower. Right. Which, which daughter her son was that? But it was my first daughter, so Selena. Yeah. That's something you always remember. Oh, yeah. And, but I was fortunate at that time. I, you know, the house where the shower was, the water actually came up you know, up into the second floor of that house, so. Yeah. But I actually lived up on the hillside and it didn't destroy my home, so. I was fortunate in that. We had 13 people, I think, that stayed with us for a while there in a two-bedroom house, so it was kind of kind of tight, yeah. But we were safe and no electric or no water for days and days. And, you know, I, when you see Katrina, when that happens, you can, it's like you can have you can flashbacks, right. you know, even though, like I said, I wasn't actually in it, and, you know, I'm grateful for that, but it was, it was really bad. Yeah, the, 90, the 1997, there was a flood that happened up on the Ohio River, on Gallatin County, where...